Okay, so here's the sitch. That's the cool thing that the kids are saying uh, about situations. Um, we're at CG49. I've taken us north, and I did manage to get the weather to unlock, but... But... Um... Oh, really? That's interesting. Uh, anyways... <laughs> what I was gonna say is the conditions are still, uh... Pretty bad out. And... That is indicated by the fact that this guy is about... Mm, two and a half, three kilometers away and is completely invisible to us. So I was going to try to hunt him and I cannot. So there you go. I made this rambling speech about um, I don't even know what I was talking about. I think I was talking about weather. <laughs> I actually caught him on radio and then I laid out a pursuit course and I was talking about it. And now I'm talking about talking about it, which is a waste of everybody's time. So I'm not going to hunt him and I just got this other contact while I was talking to you fine people and I'm not going to be able to hunt that either because of the conditions. Let's just see what they are. Oh, well that guy's French. I don't care. That guy's British and he's a tiny boat. So this actually worked out. I don't feel so bad. Let's just go up into greener pastures, calmer seas, um, a better neighborhood. How many other possible uh, metaphors can I use? Why don't you come up with some at home? Don't message them to me, just come up with them and entertain yourselves for a while because this is going to be boring while we go up here. This is actually where I've decided to go. Probably just this area in general um, because that's where a lot of convoys are and that's where just a lot of general traffic is. So, And it also puts us in a good position to just sprint home to Lorient after we exhaust our fuel, which is getting pretty low. So that's, that's the sitch. <laughs> and we're going to continue on and pass these guys by. What a shame. What a shame. We have yet another radio contact. We've made some major progress uh, from where we were before. Um, so now we're in the Bay of Biscay and I was gonna go hunt them but as you can see the conditions... well I don't know if I showed this when I, uh, when I was down by Portugal and everything but this is identical. <laughs> like literally in every way 8 meters per second uh, direction 186 visibility poor precipitation none even though it is raining not sure what's going on there but yeah we're not gonna be able to hunt this guy and I'm honestly getting a little bit frustrated at this point because the weather getting locked up like this for uh, weeks at a time is breaking the game so I'm not gonna hunt this guy I'm gonna see if I can figure out a solution whether it's cheating or not because honestly we've been like I think it's been two weeks that we've had conditions where we can't see and maybe that's realistic I mean it is the North Atlantic the weather is terrible but I would like to think that there would be a cloud break every now and then and you know we would be able to see something somehow so I'm gonna go dig around and see what magic I can work because this is retarded I did a little bit more research into the weather phenomena in uh, Silent Hunter, and the way that it works, at least in the stock game, is that the weather can indeed get stuck, basically. Um, but with GWX3, there's uh, the mod is supposed the collection of mods, I guess. The whole package is supposed to uh, basically set a timer. That timer gets reset anytime you save or, or actually reload a game. And so when I just went out of the game to go see what what the uh, possible solution was, I just reset the timer. So it's possible that we're going to have this same set of conditions for a number of days. Um, that doesn't explain what was happening down here, though, because I was in-game for a while. And um, the only thing that it did say, though, that might be relevant is that it uh, how does it work the frequency of weather changes increases as you approach summer and then the frequency of changes decreases as you approach winter so you can have potentially multiple changes in weather in the middle of a summer day whereas during the winter and in those months approaching winter you are less likely to have a change so that could be what's going on. It could just be getting bad random number generator rolls, I guess. <laughs> but I I don't know. I did fiddle with some of the mods that are included with uh, uh, 
GWX. So maybe that'll make things more interesting all the same. Actually, I didn't know that I had several of them disabled. Um, <laughs> it was kind of a derp moment. I was kind of was like, oh, there's all this other shit that you can do. So, yeah, that might uh, make things a little bit more interesting uh, in terms of damage and stuff. There's different sound effects that have been added. So <laughs> you'll probably hear me squeal and uh, cry as my U-boat gets broken up uh, by a depth charge attack. So... There's that. We're just going to... Basically, I've just decided to stick it out and see if I can just get the game to work <laughs> through sheer uh, perseverance, which is unlikely, but we'll give it a try. Well, surprise, the weather's better. I don't know how that happened. I guess we just were patient enough, and uh, it is looking much better. It's still pretty limited visibility. I would say that this is like a kilometer, but that is huntable. The, what we were having before was not. If we had to get within 500 meters of our target, there was just no way we were going to be able to hit anything. So I uh, have us on this kind of zigzaggy, wiggy-waggy, rick rick rip rip kind of course. I don't know why I did that. Um, <laughs> we're we're going to kind of cruise around here. This is a pretty decent hunting area, and it's close to Lorient. So hopefully... Um, we can run into something. I did have a radio report earlier of a ship here that was going probably to Liverpool or something. It was too far away to hunt and the conditions were still bad at the time, so I didn't bother chasing it. But, um, now that the weather is slightly improved, we're gonna go hog wild here and see if we can get rid of all these torpedoes. We have, we've only used four, two of which were <laughs> just kind of thrown at uh, a random ass assortment of targets, but... Um, we have, what is that, one, two, uh, six, eight, ten torpedoes. That's ridiculous. We need to use those immediately. So hopefully, uh, I was hoping that the timing gods would be with me and that I would discover something there. But we'll just keep going through this course and um, resume the recording in the event that I do run into something special. Or not special. We'll see. Okay, nothing heard. Um, for that entire squiggly that I did. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take the fight to them. I'm going, uh, into the Celtic Sea, and then up into St. George's Channel, and I'm gonna head towards Liverpool. I'm not, I know better than to get too close to it. And I know in a, in a previous patrol I was saying I was gonna go there. I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. Don't go there. Because, look at that, that's too narrow. We're going to die if we go there. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to go towards it, though. Into the yawning crevasse of danger that is the Irish Sea. And hopefully run into some ships. Because I didn't run into a single contact, whether by sound or by radio. Which initially led me to think, oh, my sound guys are deaf or retarded or tired or something. That's not the case. They are fine. So, um, I, I don't know what's going on with that, but, well, I guess there just aren't any ships around. So, we're going to go where the ships are, hopefully. And I believe that is here. So, probably we're going to get shot at by something. <laughs> but, that'll make for good viewing. And I just saw that this thing was going crazy, but it looks like conditions are roughly the same. And by roughly, I do mean rough. These are rough seas, but whatever. Let's keep going. This isn't a particularly noteworthy contact, other than the fact that it is a contact. Thank God. We have something in the area that makes me somewhat happy. Even though it is a warship and is probably something that would love to kill us. So I'm going to let it go right in front of us. Ah! Well, hello there, you saucy wench. Okay, we're going to go... They're heading northeast-ish. So we're going to go on... Let me mark them. That was good timing. See? That's what I was talking about with the timing gods earlier. Let's just give that another few notches here. Okay. So he's heading almost exactly northeast. And with my luck, that's probably like a little coal ship. Um... So here's what we're going to do. Mark out a course like that, roughly. Whoops. Let's just change that up a little. Something like that. 
Good. Okay. And we're gonna go east. Okay, and then we're gonna go on the surface. Because I think... I don't know what that boat was, that warship. Uh, I'm kind of inclined to guess that it was some type of, like, an Elko boat or something like that that wouldn't be able to hear us, but... Let's see. I shouldn't really have us silent, but... Ooh. We might have to stretch this a bit. We're going to, in fact. So we're going to go on the surface at about 8 or 9. And try to uh, get a little bit further ahead of him. And now let's see if we can go east. I don't care about the message. Here's a message. You're a dick for interrupting my hunt. That didn't really help too much, but let's get a watch officer on deck. Conditions have actually improved again. We have really favorable uh, viewing conditions, I suppose. It's very clear out, which is good. We need to swap some of you jerks out. How about you? Hartwig Old Cop. What are you doing on my boat if you're an old police officer? We have no use for you. Okay, let's get into some kind of position here, maybe... I think that we're getting there. Anybody? Should be dead ahead, but it's just out of visual range. Shit. Shit. Okay, let's uh, turn to course. Oh! He's visible. Let's get Mr. Watch Officer on deck. He's actually probably going to be about dead ahead then. Right? Right? Hello? Hello? Okay, I need some help. <laughs> he can supposedly see him. 3-7, let's use this. Your eyesight is incredible! There's no way that that is visible, and that leads me to believe that it is another tiny little boat, but we're going to... Um, we're going to see if we can still hunt it. The reason I say that it's probably a tiny little boat is that those are usually the only kinds of boats that your men will be able to see at that ridiculous distance. So, let's just go this way for a little while. And then... We'll do a return to course. That's going to be so infuriating if that's what that is. It's probably a fucking sailboat. That's just going to be appalling. <laughs> That's what it is. Either way, it's moving pretty fast, so... 3, 3, 4, and... Again, that's not... Possible. <laughs> uh... God. Oh, no, it's got steam out of it. So that's actually something. And like I said, the visibility is really good. Now, I can definitely see it. Let's see. Bust out the Yuzo here. Ah. There we go. Okay, so, well, whatever. It's got a very distinctive mast. Um, it's not going to be one of these guys. It's a uh, composite ship, it looked like. Let's just double check. Yeah, it looks like it's got uh, an engine house in the middle and its masts have stuff on the top. That's a composite ship, although... That could be it. It's too far to tell. I'm not going to get too... Uh, well, it could be that, too. Because it's got these little thingies on the top, too. We're just going to chase it for a little while, and once I get in range, I'll pick things up, because this could take a while. It's moving pretty quickly. 
So I might have to uh, take a little bit of time to catch up with it. I don't want to move too loudly um, because there is a warship in the area and I don't know if he can hear me or not. Uh, we'll take a risk. We'll have some fun with it here. Okay, we're going to try to catch him. Okay, I've gotten us into visual range, probably. Um, well, certainly. We were already in visual range. I've overtaken him, and we are now in visual range after overtaking him, is what I meant to say. Yes. And, ooh, you are not an Empire Freighter. You are a Cam Freighter. Definitely. Moe's deaf. Oh, did we get a radio message? I don't care right now. Generally don't care about the radio messages right now because um, they're mostly other U-boat captains bragging about how great they are <laughs> or like they're coordinating attacks and why is my dog whining? It's like, shut up! <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, let's see. Uh, I'm going to try to speed him out. I, I've got a feeling that he was moving pretty fast and... This is a fairly steep angle that he's on. So with that in mind, it might be kind of hard to get a meaningful speed solution. So I'm going to I'm gonna give it a whirl, but I don't think we're going to get an accurate result. Nine knots is pretty fast, but I'm not going to discount that offhand. Because it did take me a while to catch up with him, and I was having a hard time catching up to him even at a head uh, one-third. So... I'm going to give my TDC the benefit of the doubt on this one. And I might even creep up a little just to seal the deal. And once he's at about 30 degrees, I'm going to start preparing for a proper solution. That is to say, I'll get another range reading uh, and another angle on bow. I'll keep it at 9, though. I, I kind of... I don't... That's usually a little fast, but... This guy s does seem to be moving a little fast, so... Okay. And I had a golden opportunity right there to lock this in. I'm going to call it that. He's a little bit ahead of uh, 90. We'll call it 80 or 77. That's fine by me. Okay. Um... What do we got? We've got type 2s. That range reading is apparently completely wrong. I'll give it another shot. I didn't really have too much faith in that anyways. Let's see what it says now. That's not any better. <laughs> uh, you know what I think it is? And this is something I know better. Um... It's the waves. They're making it look like he's further away as they cross his water line. That is probably more like it. Yep. Okay. Impact pistols. Um, okay, we're just going to have to do this. It's going to have to be kind of a snapshot. And somebody remarked that I don't open my tubes, and that affects the result that you get. Um... That is probably right, um, after I've done some kind of observations of my previous videos. Because what I was thinking, the reason I didn't do it at first was that um, I thought that once you open the tube, it locked your solution in, which would be a terrible system if, if that was the way that it worked, um, just from a munitions standpoint. But uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't appear to work that way. It does continue updating your... Uh, TDC line. So I might start doing that from now on, but we'll see. And I am not feeling too good about this solution. Because it looks like our torpedo is running a little bit... <sighs> Ooh. Wait a minute. Did it just explode? I think it exploded. Son of a bitch. That is really bad. Because now he's going to be like, Oh my god, what the hell was that? So, um, is a second shot advisable? Probably not. We're going to take it anyways. And we're going to use a Type 1. The reason we're going to use a Type 1 
is because I'm an idiot. There we go. Get that out of there. Now, I don't know if he's going to turn or what. But hopefully we can get a hit on this. That line is looking a little better. But if he was smart, he would start to uh, take kind of an evasive course. Now, we can actually follow this one. And that could be a hit and he is apparently doing some evasive maneuvers but I don't think it's going to do him any good he is turning but he's turning too late that's going to hit him right amidships kapow man I shouldn't even bother with the type 2's <laughs> the type 2 was the appropriate choice there but um, they're just, I don't know, I don't, that was probably just me coming up with a shitty solution. So yeah, we've scored a hit on him, and here's one thing about him that is interesting, that I only just noticed now, which is kind of cheating, but I don't really care right now. Um, there's that. It's a big old gun on the back. So yeah, we're not going to fight him with our deck gun by any means. We are going to shadow him for a little while. And see if he starts to slow down or, you know, if anything happens to him. He is zigzagging. He was zigzagging to begin with, so that's not really a surprise. But we're certainly not going to pursue him on the surface with that gun of his. Which he can use. I don't think we can use our deck gun under these conditions. So we're just going to follow him for a little while. It looks like we are overtaking him even at five knots. So that means... Oh, he's about to stop. He has stopped. Let's take a quick look. I don't feel too bad about wasting that Type 2. Oh, goodness, sir. That is, uh... That is not a good situation to find yourself in. So sorry. Thanks for playing. I'm going to go ahead and say that he's going to sink, and I'm going to continue back on course, but I am going to stay under because, like I said, he can wise from his grave and uh, take a shot at us with his uh, duck gun. Even at that ridiculous... Oh, hey, we should probably be careful about returning to course because he <laughs> he's exactly on our course. Uh, how about we go east for a little bit and wait for him to sink a bit. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Did he just... I hit a button that I shouldn't have. Are we good? We're good. Okay. What was I talking about? Yeah, we'll just keep our eye on him, and once he sinks, we'll just continue on course, I guess. Just speed through. Let's go take a look at him. I think that list is irretrievable. There's no way that he can uh, get out of that. His decks are starting to wash over, even. And he is unable to move. So hopefully the game just says, you're dead. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's going to be one of those, I guess. Well, okay. We'll wait until he sinks and then I'll pick things up. So, you know, I was saying, oh, the deck gun is a terrible idea. Well, you know, he's capsizing, basically. And we're on the side uh, where his gun can't hit us, basically, because of the angle that his ship is at. Um, although with that said, wow, um, <laughs> that was not my intent. Uh, with that said, the waves are really bad, so we're getting some really wild shots. Uh, I'm going to take a few shots at him and try to encourage him to sink, which that is not going to do right there. Oh, hey, that was a hit. And this is going to probably take a little bit of time to do. Whoa! Well, that was a good shot, too. Well, I'm not as bad at this as I thought. Now, he almost seems like he's evening out his uh, list, which would be bad. 
but I don't think it's going to help him too much. I think I might have hit the gun there. Pretty close, but... Whoa, again, that was probably not a good shot. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, just sink, you bastard. Hit his cargo. Yeah, there's that platform on the very back, and I am a little concerned that he's going to be able to get into... He's going to angle it so that he can hit us. He is on fire in the stern, though. He ate too much spicy food. <laughs> That's terrible. Get out! Okay. That is not how we need to hit him, though. We need to get a little bit lower. It doesn't help that the waves are this terrible, though. This is cargo again. <laughs> Another explosion on the deck. Oops. Popcorn. Come on. <laughs> Just a little lower, maybe? Wow. I need to watch the barrel because the waves are rocking it so that it's not going to hit. Come on. That was probably a good shot. That was a hit. It wasn't necessarily a good shot. The game, when you're... You see how it kind of... If you watch the barrel, it'll kind of... Uh, stop. The barrel will stop rocking for just a minute. And that's when it actually is going to hit at its true range. Um, although, with that said, I managed to fuck that up. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. You just kind of have to have a sense of timing with it. And I apparently don't, so I'm going to let my uh, deck gun crew take over. See if they can do a little bit better. He looks just absolutely horrid. I'm going to give him a couple more shots and then say, you're unsinkable. <laughs> See that? It's, it's tough because we have to basically hit him in the keel uh, based on how he's angled. So I don't know how that's going to work. Ooh, good shot, though. That was actually exactly what I was talking about. And I think after I get a couple more hits, like the one I exalted my men for, um, I think we'll dive. And that is just horrid. That gun, you can see, is pointed basically straight up into the air. So he really doesn't have much of a chance of hitting us. That was the whole plan, was to um, get it so that I was on an angle that he couldn't hit me at. And you guys are making my life a living hell. Please hit him. Oh. <laughs> you they have hit that one spot there like three times in a row. I don't know what to do. I just can't win. You know what? We're gonna. We're just going to go. He will probably sink. I would be really surprised if he didn't sink. So, he probably won't sink with me having said that. Let's return to course and give him some time to think about what he's done and think about whether or not he should sink. And once he does sink, I will begin recording again. I just had turned around to go lay another coat of whoop ass on him, but he has uh, decided to sink. So let's go watch him. He actually had an explosion on deck. Uh, that's the wrong button. He had some kind of explosion on deck um, that I had fast forwarded through. So it looked like nothing. Um, but he is finally sinking. That was a sturdy boat right there, my friends. But not sturdy enough, I reckon. So there you go. That is uh, 6850, I believe. That'll be 6850 at the next window. Knock, 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 knock. Good. So we have managed to sink something. Um, I'm going to continue on course and go through, like I was saying, and hopefully run into something else like that. And hopefully not run into any warships because that would be bad. 
Ha 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 ha! Ah ha ha! Where are you? Funny! That was very funny! You are hilarious! Three ten. Um, uh, now nah, that's our sinking buddy. The fact that you are at eight eighty or eight eighty eight thousand eighty eight whatever, eight point eight kilometers. I can see that you have smoke. You're over there. There's two of you. Oh, delightful! Let's dive. I didn't say die. I said dive. The fact that there are two of you also strongly implies that you are motorboats. But that also doesn't make a whole lot of difference. You guys could still pursue me. We're going to go to 40. This is fairly shallow water. And if those are motorboats, you know, I'm going to gonna, I'm just going to operate under the assumption that they are. And thus, I'm going to do this. Oh, we've got plenty of room. Let's go to 60 something. Yeah, the fact that they were those little smudges on the map like that strongly indicates that they are indeed um, motorboats. That doesn't mean they're not going to try to harass me. That's nautical harassment. I don't have to take it. I'm just going to cross my path and move right along. I would really prefer that they not sight me. So I think that that was all around a good idea anyways. And you are out of range. Good. <laughs> well, I'm pretty great. I don't know what you guys think, but I think I'm excellent. I'm an idiot. Let's go on the surface and continue on. Erp. Bad news. Pitch black out. No idea what it is. I don't have a watch officer on deck because he's tired. I think it's lethal. Go figure. Uh, I don't see you, but I'm going to dive immediately. That is probably based on the... <laughs> stupid that I'm doing it that way. Probably... Um, a corvette or a sloop but he is gonna cross right in front of us so we're gonna just uh, play it safe and go silent he's probably not even within strictly speaking he's probably not even within visual range um, in all reality because this is five kilometers here each uh, square is a click not likely. We could go take a look. Um, yep, yeah, that's what I thought. It's a sloop. I don't think he's going to attack us. Because we did go silent pretty quick. We've lost him. He's in our shadow. And that would be hilarious if he decided to turn right at us. Right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little nervous. <laughs> Starting to think that that was exactly what he was doing. That would have been really bad. This area is pretty much infested with um, all kinds of warships, really. I was going to say sloops and stuff, but it was Spitzenhund that was being lazy. Well, I still hate you, Lethal. Are you here? Yeah. That's right. You're the, the chief of the boat. Okay. Anywho, he's out of range. Go on the surface. Onward!